Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jennifer and this is my channel and this is my keto journey. So I've had a few people ask me to do a review on this handy dandy little waffle iron that I just got recently that I am quite obsessed with. I have used it a number of times so far and I haven't even had it a week yet. So it comes in so handy and the size of it is what I like the best because because it's small it doesn't take up a lot of counter space and even if I don't want to use it for a while I can just store it away in a cupboard because it's so small so I figured the best way to do a review and show you guys what I thought of it is to do a recipe and this recipe is also a recipe that I've had quite a few people ask me about and it has a few names I've heard of it called an egg waffle as well as a chaffle and there is only a couple ingredients in this recipe and we'll get to that in a second but first I'll show you the main things with this waffle iron so if this is the dash waffle iron um, I got mine on Amazon for $9.99 but they do also have them at Target Walmart TJ Maxx different places like that and there also are different brands of the waffle iron but I like this this is the one that became highest recommended to me and I've had absolutely no problems with it so far it is a perfect size and so you just lift it up and you have your waffle surface it does not have an on and off switch you just plug it in and it turns on and then when you're done with it you unplug it that is the only thing I would have liked for it to have would have been the on and off switch, but it's really not a deal breaker because for $9.99, I can't complain about it. And it has come in so handy and it's one of my favorite purchases so far. So that I guess is the all the review I can give you because it is just an amazing little product and I guess the demonstration will prove itself how awesome it is. So let me plug it in and we'll get to work on making our chaffles. All right, our chaffles is extremely easy and it's simple to make. There's only two ingredients, well, technically three, but two main ingredients, and that is egg and cheese. So in this bowl, I just have two eggs that are beaten. Each chaffle will take approximately half of an egg. So I'm going to be making four of them. And then I have some cheese here. I'm not quite sure how much cheese I'm gonna use. This is about two servings of shredded cheese. You can use any kind of shredded cheese. It doesn't have to be just mozzarella or just cheddar. This is a blend that I have. Let me show you the package. This is by Kraft. It's the expertly paired mozzarella and cheddar. It's for macaroni and cheese casseroles. Of course, I don't use it for that, but I like that it, it is blended, um, a nice mixture of the cheddar and mozzarella. I really like the stats on this cheese as well. It is 100 calories and one gram of carb for a quarter of a cup. So pretty good stats on it, I think. And that is my favorite shredded cheese at the moment. So I went ahead and I scrambled two eggs in my bowl, like I said, and I just added a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. You can see my, I don't know if you can see my pink Himalayan salt shaker. I finally broke down and got a salt grinder and a big bag of pink Himalayan salt because I was buying the small little disposable shake grinders and it was running out really quickly and it started to run into quite a bit of money and this was just cheaper in the long run so I have a good stock of my pink salt and then I'm going to just spray the surface of my waffle iron with some olive oil you don't have to do this I just do this to make sure things don't stick and you can actually use any kind of oil to spritz it with it doesn't have to be olive oil it can be avocado oil whatever kind of oil you have and want to use is fine so first what we're going to do is we're going to just take a little bit of cheese and sprinkle it on the surface of the waffle iron
and let it melt. And then we're going to take about a quarter of a cup of our egg mixture and pour over top of it. You just want to pour enough that it covers the surface of the waffle iron. And then we're going to go ahead and sprinkle just a little bit more cheese on the top. The cheese is going to help the egg waffle get crispy. And then we're just going to put the lid down and let it cook. These chaffles are so versatile. You can eat them in many different ways. You can eat them just plain as they are. You can definitely put syrup over them but they're a little different than a, a typical keto waffle I do have a recipe that I have on my channel for it, a keto waffle um, but you could definitely use this as just a waffle and put some syrup on it what I'm going to do with this today is I have some chicken in my air fryer and I'm going to let it cool the chicken cool and then I'm going to make some chicken salad and I'm going to use these truffles as like a cracker or a bread for my chicken salad for dinner. So let's check. You can see they have a nice little crust on them. It's not quite done yet. We'll just take a little sneak peek though. A couple more seconds and it'll be done. Should be good and we should be done. See, we have a nice crisp of cheese on top. And then our bottom is nice and crispy with the cheese on the bottom. All right, we'll go ahead and make a second one. Again, we'll just put our cheese down. And let it get a little bit melted. Spread it out. And then we'll go ahead and pour our egg mixture on. Like I said, about a quarter of a cup of the egg, you'll get probably about two waffles per egg. That's what I found so far. And then we'll just top it with a little bit more cheese. And then we'll close our lid. Here are our four chaffles using the Dash Mini Waffle Iron. They turned out really well, and you can see they have a nice crisp to them. These can be used, like I said, in a variety of different ways. You could definitely use this. They would be good with some turkey and cheese as a sandwich. Put some mustard on there. I'm going to use them as open face and just put some chicken salad on there. You could do tuna salad, egg salad. The possibilities are endless. Even a sausage patty with some extra cheese and make it like a little breakfast sandwich. The possibilities are just endless for sure. So if you try these, definitely let me know what you think of them. I would definitely recommend picking yourself up a little Dash waffle iron. It's inexpensive, $10, and it will come in so handy for so many things. I've used it 
I can't even tell you how many times now and I've had it less than a week so definitely recommend that little cutie and definitely recommend these yumminess and be watching my daily vlogs of what I eat and I will show you when I have my chicken salad on my chocolate have a good day, everyone.